Hello everyone, this is the fourth lecture in the course of Literature and Globalization. This lecture is on the unbearable likeness of being. It is written by Milen Kundera. With fear of commitment comes disloyalty. How many of you have fear of commitment? Commitment was a big fear for Thomas. He had fear of committing to women because he did not want to lose the power he had of being able to womanize. Milan Kundera, the writer of the novel. Milan Kundera spent a lot of his time in Prague, where he was a professor at Prague's Academy of Performing Arts. The book also takes place in Prague. Kundera was a very secretive person. He did not like sharing his personal life with the world, which also reflects the main character Thomas, because he too was very secretive. Kundera was interviewed by a British writer, Ian, and had said, we constantly rewrite our own biographies and continually give matters new meaning. To rewrite history in this sense, indeed, and in an Aurelian sense, is not all inhuman. On the contrary, it is very human. The unbearable likeness of being may have been a biography or a part of Kondra's life and what situation he could have gone through. Summary of the novel The book takes place in Prague, late 1960 meeting. A 40 years old surgeon named Thomas. He is the ultimate womanizer. He meets and falls in love and gets married to a woman named Teresa. While married to Teresa, he does not stop his womanizing ways. Thomas believes sex and love are two different things. Thomas had had long-time mistress named Sabina, which Teresa knows of, but soon enough, both women get to know each other and become close. And suddenly Thomas is caught between two, for he has love for both. Assertion 1. Power was not an important thing to Thomas in the book. He always wanted to be controlled. If that was while having sex, or even in his relationship with his many mistresses, Thomas always wanted power and control of any situation. Making love with a woman and sleeping with a woman are two separate passions, not merely different, but opposite. Love does not make itself felt in the desire for intercourse, a desire that extends to an infinite number of women, but in the, in the desire for shared sleep, a desire limited to one woman. Thomas is emotionally faithful to Teresa, but physically unfaithful. Thomas believed that w when you have a sex with a woman, you discover something that makes them unique from any other. He believed that having sex with every woman, he has collected something unique from the world. Assertion 2. Thomas has the power to womanize just about any woman. But what he soon realizes is that he is powerless against his own womanizing. He has no control. Thomas feared commitment, which led to his infidelity with his relationship with Teresa and Sabina. His thought of having power was far more important. He womanized woman because he was in control of everything at all times. If he had stopped womanizing and stuck with just Teresa, he had feared that possibly he would no longer have in control and no longer have the power in the relationship. If excitement is a mechanism of our creator uses for his own amusement, love is something that belongs to us alone and enable us to flee the creator. Love is our freedom. Love lies beyond. The irony is that Thomas calls his personal womanizing as Musain, means beyond one's control. Although Thomas' sexuality is characterized by the power he uses over womanizing, but he is powerless against his own womanizing.
Consequently, fear of commitment can lead to infidelity like it did with Thomas. But today we should all learn that having power in relationship doesn't mean much when you can lose someone you truly love and care about. Just because you have power doesn't mean the relationship is made out of true love. In the end, then, it's nothing but a power struggle. Annihilus of the Unbearable Lightness of Being The richness of this novel is indisputable. Kundra talks with the Greek philosophers and Nietzsche. Kundra and the Eternal Return First with Nietzsche defends the idea of eternal return. This theory raises the cyclical nature of the universe and its events. Kundras contrasts a unique view of history. Each person has only one life to live. To seize the opportunity that do not represent most, being is light, it line. He escapes to individuals. This is the idea of eternal return, introduces gravity in our lives. Similarly, the eternal return suggests a static philosophy of history. Where Kundra believes in a dynamic history, he believes in progress. Kundra and love. Against the romantic view, which sees the romantic encounter scheduled meeting of the two beings, Kundra contrasts ex accidental conception of love. No one is intended to person depending on him. Love, in addition to be incidental, is fleeting. That is why the modern man gives too much importance. Kundra and politics. The policy appears in the novel as a backdrop. Communism is closer to the Nazi in that share their ideology denial of individuality and the consequence of the primacy of the collective. Communism is synonymous with Kundra culture of silence, the emptiness of thought. The West is the contrary of freedom, the assertion of the individual. Kundra and sexuality. Kundra presents sexuality in terms of lightness and weight. The characters are light and see stimulating sexuality as a creative activity. Sexuality in Sabina is linked to the, the imagination like art. Heavy characters associate sexuality with guilt. The sex is also associated with slight force in Thomas while sex heavy refused the power of seduction. The naked, body, the naked body seen by Teresa as a source of horror and muscular body as useless by Franz. Kundra and Bean Kundra addresses this issue in terms of pre-Socratic Greek philosophers, including Parmenides. The letter sees the world divided into pairs of opposing entities. Light versus darkness. Fineness versus coarseness. Positive entity on one side and negative on the other. According to Parmenides, the light is positive, the negative weight. Kundra argues instead that the lightness is ambiguous, both positive and negative. Positive freedom and negative weight of the emptiness of the life of Sabina Liberty. This ambiguity is also the misfortune of Sabina. Life is a paradox insolvent. Witness the evolution of each character which point to an opposite pole to their initial choice. Thomas finishes with his infidelities. Sabina realized the emptiness of his existence is re released from Teresa and Thomas Franz, leaves his wife to live sex dreams and to pursue its political ideals. This reflects the paradox and the fact that individuals are free of their choice.
Destiny is a fantasy. Human existence, a risky thing. Irony in the novel. The concept of irony was first seen in Socrates' st strategy of the Socratic irony, and it developed unprecedentedly in 18th century in Europe. Then, irony is defined as the use of words to convey a meaning that is opposite of its literal meaning. Gradually, with the expansion and modification of the definition of irony made by different scholars, its forms are becoming more and more various. The use of irony has become an important novel creative pattern in modern history of literature. For example, a technique of indicating as through character or plot development, an intention or attitude opposite to which is actually the society under a certain social historical condition. The Society Under Certain Social Historical Condition In August 1968, Czechoslovakia was occupied by Soviet troops. A large number of Czech intellectuals were driven away, and Kundera was also one of those victims. He was fired from his party and was prohibited from any published word, with all his work suddenly being disappeared from bookstores and public libraries. These experiences made him become aware of the essence of life along with the human liberation tide, and thus were Kundra advocates in the unbearable likeness of being, is that life is without purposes, existing with no meaning. He uses irony to give out the declaration against the judicious social norms, which can be known as the earliest forms of the pursuit of the lightness of being. Conclusions Though the novel seems to be a simple love story, it contains a rich philosophic theory, beamed with the light of thought. Thus the author, with his ironic style, splits the human life jacket, explores the secrets of the soul, and uncovers the deeply hidden truth of human nature. Judging from what mentioned above, we can recognize that the irony is obviously presented in the aspect of life value, love value, and political implication in Milan Kundra's novel, The Unbearable Lightness of Being. In this novel, the author uses the irony not only to depict the fate of many vivid characters, but also to analyze the traditional morals, exposing the covered truth under the traditional values. Kundra belongs to both his time and today. Therefore, our young people should spend more time and energy to read this novel, learning his literary spirit and use of irony in language in our future writing. Let me give you assignment. Write a critical essay on the unbearable lightness of being by Milan Kundra, or write a research paper on the unbearable lightness of being by Milan Kundra. In both cases, your assignment have to be written at least in 1,000 words. And that is how we come to the end of this short lecture. Talk to you next week. Bye for now.